Hello there, my very good friends. I'm Andy, this is Adam, as you know. And if you tuned into yesterday's news video, you will know that we covered a story from Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Radio stating that WWE might be planning something of an AEW talent raid. So, with that in mind, here are five wrestlers. Well, w 10 wrestlers, actually. We've got five picks and we've got five wild cards. Oh my goodness, how are we going to do the wild cards? Just sleep with me. 10 wrestlers. <laughs> WWE, WWE could steal from AEW. I wasn't prepared for this, so this might be a bit wonky. <laughs> Number 10 then, oh. I guess? We'll start off with the most obvious one. CM Punk. It's Da Punka. You knew we were going to say Da Punka. Yeah. So of course we've put him on here. Uh, look, he's not technically an AEW wrestler because he's been released. He's a free agent, but he's going to end up in WWE and it's going to be very chaotic. Mm -hmm. um, I think that Survivor Series is a good bet for that to happen. I think that he will be there. Yeah, I mean like, whenever we talk about this and we get this question every single day pretty much on the news about is it worth it and you say like look it would be groundbreaking this happened like you say Survivor Series Chicago it just makes sense you could do huge Wrestlemania matches you could even just do quite a brief run from Survivor Series to Wrestlemania for example for uh, Phil Brooks but People say, oh, is it worth it? And I say, well, I'm not in the locker room, so it doesn't affect me, so go for it, guys. And also, he famously is really good friends and gets along really well with Vince McMahon and Triple H. So it sounds like a really harmonious yes. idea. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, sticking with obvious choices, or semi-obvious, slightly, slightly less obvious, I suppose, than CM Punk, because this guy's actually still with AEW. But Ricky Starks' name has Ooh. been dropped quite a lot by the Rhodes family recently. Uh, I'm not going to base this too much on that time he went with Cody to the Rumble. Yes, he was backstage. Because there. that's just bring your friends to work. That yeah. wasn't necessarily backstage meetings or shenanigans, and he had years to go on his contract by that time anyway. But yeah, it just feels like Ricky Starks would be an excellent uh, get. He'd fit well in WWE, um, and maybe he feels his opportunities aren't as great as they were in AEW with the more stars coming in. I like the push he's been getting recently, I will say that. Yeah, I think he's been pushed extremely well in the past three or, three or four or five months. Yeah. Uh, whenever, since Collision was launched, basically. Yeah. He's had a really great run, worked with some of the best wrestlers in the company. Um, this one makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't think uh, it, it's unreasonable to look at the recent uh, social media activity of the Rhodes family and uh, think that that's some kind of tease. I think that's very fair. Mm -hmm. um, I could definitely see it happening. Yeah. 100%. He's just, he, he's got that sort of personality and arguably wrestling style as well that would work in his He's Fred. great. He's yeah. great at everything and he's very, uh, very good looking. I mean, he's going to go, he might not go there for this next thing that we're yeah. suggesting, I but I reckon in his career at some point he will go to WWE because I think Triple H would be a big fan of his as well. I've got a bit of a controversial one here because Ooh. I think a lot of people will disagree with this. At number eight, Thunder Rosa. Yes. It's. Complicated, I think, mm. in a lot of ways, because no idea when her contract expires, and she's been out injured for over a year, oh. so you'd imagine that time will get added on as well. Yeah. Um, but that being said, uh, we're all big fans of Thunder Rosa here at Walk Culture, and she's been very generous with the time she's given us. Uh, she's done a live stream uh, yeah. with, with the boys in Las Vegas, so like we love Thunder Rosa. Um, but you know, I think that she is someone who WWE might look at and go, look at her skill set. She's incredible. Uh, maybe it's not worked out in AEW in some aspects. Maybe they'll try and uh, extend an invitation. Now, there is the old story. I don't know how true this is uh, from back in the day about how they gave her a tryout as a referee once, which is demented. Uh, but, you know, maybe if Charles Robinson retires, <laughs> bring, bring in <laughs> one of those. <laughs> face makeup if you want on. Yeah, why not? Do the referee stuff. Yeah, I, I, well, I think we want to come at this more from a WWE trying to get her angle than anything to do with her relationship yeah. with an AEW. Um, but... You know, yes, obviously WWE have got Jade Cargill now, but I think if they got someone like Thunder Rosa, uh, A, they could push her. I think she could have some fantastic matches within WWE. And also, it would just be a real one-up for, for WWE in terms of like, your women's division's got talent, but is it really being utilized as well as it could be? It's very sort of, you know, you get a push and you get a push, but no one else does. Yeah. Whereas, you know, we see across WWE, I don't think it's been booked that much better recently. To be Certainly not honest. on Raw, no. But, you know, they they could showcase, you know, look at all the fanfare they've already given for Jay Cargill. I think Thunder Rosa would be another excellent uh, uh, signing for, for WWE. And I think I would not rule her out winning a world title within her first year within the WWE either. 100%. She's so talented. Our, 
AEW's best women's match? I don't think there's any argument, actually, as and more as I say that. I think my favourite is probably Riho versus Serena Deep. Yeah. But her and Britt, yeah. the big bloody one. Britt's going nowhere Sensational. Adam yeah. Cole's in AEW as well. Yeah, she loves AEW. For my next pick, Andy Murray, I've got two words for you. Not that, I'm talking about guns up. I'm talking about the oh, guns. Nice, okay. I think they have come on leaps and bounds in the last year. Um, obviously, there's an element of, you know, the Fed within Billy Gunn as well. So I sense he'd probably have a word with them and say, yeah, pretty good place to go. And also, I can have a word with Paul. Billy would go back at the top of a yeah. heartbeat as yeah, well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I, I, I just love this new persona they've got. I think they've they've really benefited. The heel turn, obviously, I think just... It's, a, it's more fun being here, yeah. isn't it? But they've really, really hit the ground running with that. And I think being surrounded by the likes of JY and Juice Robinson has, uh, has just been excellent. And they've just got that mint entrance, man. It's a very WWE style heel act. Yes. And they are excellent at it. They're really annoying. Annoying little mid-card pricks. I hate them. I love them. Yeah. So I can see it's it. sort of a, I don't take this the wrong way. Not in the exact same way, but pretty deadly vibes about them. Ah, they're arseholes yeah, as well, but they're great arseholes. Put them in a the stable, why not? Okay, so this would have been number one. Yeah. Number six now, I guess. Oh, God, yeah. It's the big boy, MJF. Had to put him in. Had to put him in. The bidding war of 2024 remains a thing. We reported exclusively in February that when MJF renegotiated his terms with AEW, got his raise in 2022, Good he you. did not sign an extension and we're very confident in that report. That report was seven months ago, so it's entirely <laughs> possible that something has happened since then. However, MGF is incredibly smart. I think he still wants to negotiate with jolly old Saint Nick, as he calls him. Uh, I don't know why he calls Triple H that. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> being silly now. Uh, but yeah, talk about MGF, got not he? He's your best mate. Yeah, obviously. he's my best friend. I'm not really at liberty to disclose any more information that he's given me about <laughs> this. Uh, but if it's possible, I I have a feeling probably he's got signed a new contract with AEW I and then just so. quietly got rid of the whole bidding war of 2024 stuff because we're getting in the end of 2023, guys. Um, but if it's possible, if I'm WWE and I know, you know, they, they, they've let people go and done all that, I would move heaven and earth to get that guy in because it's it's a double whammy isn't it it's the damage it would do to aw because he's one of the top guys well, the top guy for the world title but in terms of like intrigue he's one of the main reasons why i tune in to aw every single week and it's mouth-watering what the prospects could be with him within wwe and he whisper it could be the catalyst for them finally saying maybe we don't need to script all of the promo because mm. yeah it wouldn't work if they did that i think max would quite rightly be like if you're not going to give me freedom i'm just going to stay where i am and yeah. earn lots more money under tony khan thank you very much but he is not our last pick because <laughs> great deal of work's got, <laughs> got into this <laughs> what, what? this <laughs> is that joelinton's boot box it is joelinton's old boot box right. this is we've still got joelinton's boots if anyone wants that I don't, I don't know this i have in my hands i think anyway, it's actually my boss's property anyway is every single person on the aw roster their okay. name on a piece of paper so we're going to draw five out okay and try and make an argument for all five of them being a get potentially for wwe do you want to start us off yeah sounds good hold it hold it up for the people hold it up for the people there we go there we go uh Okay, no expense paper. spent. Signing for WWE in 2024, number five on the list, Lee Moriarty. Okay. Lee Moriarty, he's been hanging out with Shane Taylor yeah. recently. Great, ta great young talent. Sensational technical wrestler. I'm a big fan of Lee Moriarty. I was a big advocate for him signing with AEW. I thought that when he joined the company, he was one of the most exciting emergent talents uh, in indie wrestling. Yeah. Tremendous technical wrestler, uh, lots of personality as well. Yeah, I, I, Lee is Lee has a very bright future. He's young. Um, I think that you know he's been signed to AW for a year or so now, but he's going to be a big player in that company. Like later down the line, development takes a while uh, sometimes. Um, for WWE, I think uh, Luke. He's a growing wrestler. You can slot him in on NXT. Yeah. Why the heck not? He's not. Uh, he's not uh, averse to dyeing his hair green. So maybe <laughs> they could give him some kind of like. Uh, goo gimmick where he has green slime. Don't tempt me. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Lee Moriarty. He's actually a good name to let, pick. Let out. me let you pick one. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Here. Next name going 
to WWE from AEW is... <laughs> Swerve Strickland. Oh. <laughs> I sense it might not be happening anytime soon considering he's got a great push in AEW yeah. and uh, they really screwed him up in uh, yeah. WWE. But if for some miracle reason he decides AEW isn't the place for him, yeah, he is He is a world champion in waiting in my eyes, whatever company he's in. Um, he's also a lovely bloke outside of when he's doing Git stuff with Mogul Embassy. I chatted to him backstage uh, oh, a couple of years ago at Wale Mania. He's just a great guy and they really, WWE really dropped the ball with him. So hopefully Triple H can be like, yeah, sorry about that. Um, do you want to come and win a world title here if AW decide to not pull the trigger on that one? But yeah, Swerve Strickland, um, a, a sensational talent. Maybe not going in the next year, Yeah. but who knows? Anything's possible in this Swerve. game. Remember earlier this year, or was it last year? I think it was last year when there was that report going around about WWE just like phoning people who work for AEW and going, want to come back? <laughs> like, just try to break their contracts. Like, he was one of the names that came up that said no. <laughs> like, yeah. so this is probably the least likely person. Worth a try, fair play. Yeah. He's great. He's a pay-per-view headliner in the making and a future world champion. Yeah. Let's do this. Do you want me to do another one? Uh, you hold it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, why not? We'll do it in turns, baby, like the worm. I don't know why I'm looking away when you do this. Yeah, it's like the member. Yeah, I don't know. It's a draw. <laughs> we should probably have a more sophisticated way of doing this. What is this? Number four? No, this is number three. We number got... three? Yeah. So two more after this. <sighs> Kyle O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. So the case for Kyle O'Reilly is he's been there before. He probably liked it there. Yeah. Um, my best friend Von Wagner still there. Yes. Bob Fish could maybe go back with him. Uh, <laughs> you, you, Triple H is a big fan. Yes, he did it. Yeah, he did. It was a sensational run in NXT. Fantastic wrestler. Yeah. Um, very injured at the moment, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, get well soon, Kyle. So the case for him is just he's great at wrestling and Triple H is a fan. Yeah, Triple Simple. H can say, look, Previously, I know it seemed like, well, if I leave NXT, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to be given some stupid gimmick on the main roster because of the old git in charge. And whilst <laughs> the old git is still around, it's got a lot better in WWE. Agreed. Um, but, but most importantly, you should focus on getting well soon. Yeah, absolutely. Get right. healed up, Kyle. Number two, the number two get for WWE Looper. from AEW Please is... Be Looper. Oh, what's this one? The Bunny! Oh, okay. That's actually quite feasible. We're splitting up the Butcher, the Blade, and the Bunny. Oh, That's no. Mean. That's a very mean video. Uh, she's great. She could be one, actually, I could see them trying to get, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so like, definitely. The, you know, what, 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 you know, they've, they've got, you've got your people, people arguably ahead of her, despite the fact she's really developed as well since she arrived in AEW. You know, they'd say, well, yeah, I'm sure you get opportunities within AEW, but you got Statlander ahead of you, you got Soraya, you got Tony Storm, you got Brit, you know, come here and maybe, who knows? She's uh, she's had her injury problems as well this year, mm. uh, but she's extremely expressive. Like Great she's... character wrestler, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very, very expressive on television. Uh, WWE is like, uh, like they gravitate towards wrestlers who, are, mm. who can express character and and stuff on TV. And they've had a bunny on television before, Rosebuds. Hey! Law, guys! Is that who it was all along? It was the actual <laughs> bunny. Uh, sorry, The Blades, we've accidentally split you up from your wife and put her in a different it's company awkward, here, but... Unless... Uh, uh, let's find out. The uh, number one pick. Whose goal is it? Is this the number one pick? Number one pick, what guys. What a privilege. I better get... Think of all the science that's got into this list. Right, here it is. This is the most scrumpled up piece of paper yet. I'm, I'm excited. I'm still unraveling it. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Brandon Cutler. <laughs> Brandon Bogle himself. Brandon Bogle himself. What's Brandon Bogle doing in here? You know? <laughs> okay, right. This is the easily the hardest one to justify, right? Because he's best friends with the Young Bucks. What a twist. <laughs> Because we were talking about them, oh, maybe the Bucks, you know, uh, pissed off with, with uh, Tony and, you know, Cody's gone over there, or maybe Omega's going to be like, oh, no, no, no. 
Brandon's like, hey guys, uh, I got some news for you. Yeah, I'm off. So Brandon Cutler, who they literally pulled out of like retirement from wrestling, yeah. who they literally presented him with two contracts and he cried because he was so overwhelmed <laughs> and like so happy and so grateful, who has this great role in AEW, the backstage stuff, and he is so much fun as a dork sidekick. Yeah. Like he's fantastic in that role. How do we make a case for him to go to WWE? Okay, he is a fantastic enhancement talent. Unbelievable, yeah. That You would sign him for that reason. He seems like a really good guy. Could do his D&D gimmick on uh, NXT, no problem. 100%, he could be the dungeon master. Oh. Brandon Bogle, rocking up. Uh, I, I mean, it's never happened in a million years. He's, he's too entrenched in AEW. Bonus, bonus pick. Bonus pick. We've gone off piste. Sorry, sorry, Ben. Hey, in fact, before we finish this up, who would you like to see WWE try and yes. get from AW? Let us know in the comments. Why is it Brandon below. Cutler? Because the pick we are actually going for. <laughs> who was it? QT Marshall. <laughs> the exact same I'm thing. Not, I'm not joking about it. I haven't made that up. I'm not sure if you can see this. It's QT Marshall. Right. <laughs> Third try. Oh, no. In you go. Just says boulder. <laughs> boulder? That bear boulder? Uh, yes, yes. Great. <laughs> Iron Savage's boulder. I will say this it's right now. It's the big now. boy, the tall boy. A, uh, WWE <laughs> right now have got some mint big lads and they could make the case of like, we look, we've got Otis, we've got Bronson Reed, we've got like the Brutus Creed, for example, is just a great big lad down in NXT. There's so much, that would be mint. That would be so good. Boulder is our number one pick <laughs> to WWE. Get him right in, in, Paul. Heal it first. Maybe Brandon Cutler could be his manager. All right, thank <laughs> you for checking out this slice of chaos. Uh, check out this video if you like this one. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>